Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome. My name is Katie. I'm going to be your coach for the next hour or 45 minutes or so. So if you are joining me later in the week on YouTube or later in the day on Facebook, you are welcome to go ahead and fast forward to about four and a half minutes, and I'm going to start getting us ready to work at that four and a half minute mark, all right? So let some people start to come on. Happy Wednesday, guys. Half ready through the week. Couple of things that you're going to need today. You want to have that medium weight selection, two matching weights, and then a lighter weight selection of two matching weights. If you want to have a couple options set out for you, either weights or objects around the house, go ahead and grab those now. And then we are going to be working on the floor quite a bit today, so if you have a mat or a towel, you want to go ahead and grab that as well. Hey, Coach, Coach Jackie here. Guys, get ready for a real burner today. It's going to be, it's going to be good. Upper body and core. So, prepare yourself. We'll get started in about four minutes. Hey, Jessica. Good to see you guys. So as always, you guys are welcome to play some music in the background. I like to give some recommendations. I like to use Pacemaker, and I also like to use Fit Radio. So if you want to set some music up for yourself, you're welcome to do that. I've also been finding that Apple Music has some good playlists as well, if you kind of give it a look. Let's get that set up. If you're just jumping on and you missed it before, medium weight selections and lightweight selections. You want to have two of each of those. And then maybe a mat or a towel if you plan on needing that, but we will be doing some work on the floor. So you're going to want something for the ground if that's your preference. Start in about three minutes. Make sure you have that water. I don't know if you guys have been staying up to date on our Strava app. We have a run club. Hey, Jill, good to see you. Keep cutting my face off here. <laughs> so, Strava 5K Thursday is tomorrow. And then we're also just having that run club online that we're tracking with one another. We had Marathon Month last month, which was April. Can't believe it's already May. But you're welcome to still continue to use that so that you can just show everyone around you, all of our people in our OTF Run Club, what you're doing to stay active and get outside. Yeah, Coach Ryan, he's going to take class with us today. Oh, oh I got He it. is. He told me before. Social distancing here. I'm going to get out the door right now. That's right. right. He's going to be watching our pain from afar. <laughs> so, let me just preface today by saying it is okay to take some options because we are going to have lots of core and lots of push-ups, but we'll talk more about that when we get there. We'll start in about a minute. But yeah, stay up to date with Strava. Marathon month is done, April is gone, but guess what? It's May, so what's coming your way is May Mayhem. Now that is a week of basically Hell Week in May, and we are going to have OTF at home mayhem classes. So stay tuned for that. I think I might call out sick that week and let Ryan handle all of the classes, all seven of them. You think that's a good idea? I do. But guys, it's going to be awesome. So if you want to make sure that you do get a hat after completing those, go online to our OTF shop, and you can um, go ahead and get into our system and get all set up for that. I believe it's a $20 fee. That's awesome. It's going to be so much fun. All right. A little less than a minute here. You want to get yourself set? All right, guys. It is noon. So let's go ahead and go over our warm-up. Now, it will be five minutes. Everything will be timed. 
we are going to start with a standing alternating Spider-Man. So just like the Spider-Man on the floor, but we're going to have our hands extended overhead. I'm going to take my knee and my elbow and touch them towards one another, and then I'll switch sides. Try to stay fairly level here, have that balancing act as well. Now your option is to reduce the range of motion. Don't bring that knee as close to the elbow. Then we have sumo squat to stand for one minute. Toes tilted outward. We're going to start in that sumo squat. My hands are going to come to the ground and then I'm just going to lengthen those legs to get that stretch through the hamstrings. I'm never going to come out of this squatted position. You can keep your hands on the ground or reduce that range of motion and don't touch the ground. All right, that is your option. Then we have a crouching downward dog. So start in a plank position. We'll push back into that downward dog and we'll stay in that downward dog. The only thing that we're moving is going to be our knees covering above the ground and then right back up. Option there is to reduce the range of motion. And then we'll have wide mountain climbers. So hands under the chest. My left leg comes out nice and wide. And so this is a wide mountain climber to rotation. So I'm going to take that arm that is facing the leg in front and that is the arm that will get rotated. Option here is to reduce the range of motion or take it to one knee on the ground. All right. And then finally, we're going to have what we're going to call a scorpion. So I'm going to lay on my stomach, my hands extended sideways. I'm going to take this leg and I'm going to reach it over towards my opposite hand. Now, your goal is to keep that chest touching as much as possible on the ground. Option, reduce the range of motion. All right, guys, five minutes to work. We start with that standing alternating Spider-Man in three, two, one. Hands up, reaching side to side. So just like that Spider-Man on the ground, we want to get that oblique action here. Firing up that core, slow and controlled. Using that balance, give it a little pinch before you reset and extend those arms. Beautiful job, guys. I'm imagining that you're doing this so well. <laughs> Halfway, 30 seconds. Remember that option is to reduce the range of motion. Don't go down as far. I like to get a little bit of that core action in here. Get that pinch through the sides. 15 seconds. get that balance. Got to squeeze those glutes to keep that balance here. If you're jumping on, welcome, welcome. In three, two, one. Sumo squat to stand. So toes tilted out, hands to the ground, extend the legs, then down into that sumo squat. Now, you work towards your range of motion here for me. Some of you are going to be a little bit more tight within that inner thigh, that inner leg area, and that might mean bringing your feet not as far tilted outwards. Whatever you need to do. If you have a hard time touching the ground, take those hands up and just stay in that crouched position. Halfway. Woo! Starting to feel that in your legs. Watch those knees. We don't want them to crush in towards one another. We want to try to keep them fairly stable. 15 seconds to go. Now coming up, we're going into that crouching downward dog. We got 10 seconds to go. In three, two, one. All right, start in that plank. We're going to push up into that mountain or that peak and then bring in those knees to that 90 degree angle. Down, eye gaze is towards the ground. Nice flat back. Now remember, we always stay pressed into that mountain pose with that bottom up in the air option. Don't go down quite as far. Reduce that range of motion. We're halfway. Less than 30 seconds. Okay, good. Keep on going. Trying to get those Legs fired up, 15 seconds. Squeeze that core. Every time we come up into that peak position, we want to try to have a nice flat back. 
Now we're going into wide mountain climbers with rotation in three, two, one. All right, bringing that leg forward, whatever arm, same side, that is where we're rotating. Whatever leg is forward, that same arm rotates upwards. Now, remember your option is to place the knee on the ground and then lift it as you go back into that plank position. Always drawing the core down towards the ground in that plank, halfway. You got this, almost there. Less than 90 seconds in our warm up. Now, if that wide position is too much for you, 15 seconds, don't go quite as wide with that leg, that's okay. 10 seconds and then we're going into that scorpion. Get ready to lay flat on your belly. Hands extended in three, two, one. All right, squirt laying down flat. Leg comes towards that opposite hand. Squeeze the core and the glutes here because we do not want to compromise that lower back. Your option is to float that foot and don't go down as far. You don't have to touch the foot to the ground if it means you having to force it there. 30 seconds. Our goal is not to compromise that back. Looking good. Almost there, 15 seconds. A couple more, can you get two more in for me? Less than 10. Three, three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. All right, slowly roll it up. That was our warm up, y'all. So we are going into the meat of our work. So we start block number one is seven minutes long. Hey, it's a core block. We're going right into that core action. So we start, we're gonna do three variations of core exercises. And in between, we're going to do a crunch hold. So our first exercise is going to be a reverse crunch. So I want you to lay flat on your back. Your knees start bended. And then we're going to bring those knees towards the chest. We'll do this for 30 seconds. Option here is to reduce the range of motion. But we're using that lower core to draw that belly button, or excuse me, those knees in towards the chest. Our next core exercise will be a bodyweight double crunch. So my legs are straight, my arms are straight, and I'm going to draw my chest towards my knees as they come in. Now, as soon as you start to feel that lower back arching, that is your range of motion and your cue to draw the knees back towards the chest. Final core exercise is a toe reach. Toes stacked over hips, hands come up towards the toes, right back down. Option here is to bend at the knees. 30 seconds for each of those. And then finally, a cobra stretch. We're going to lay on our belly and push back and hold back for 30 seconds. Now here's the kicker. Between each core exercise, we're going to do an iso crunch hold. So my knees are going to be bent, hip width apart, hands behind the head, and my shoulder blades come up off the ground. And I will hold it there for 30 seconds. Two rounds of that, guys. Let's go ahead and get to work. Reverse crunch for 30 seconds to start in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, knees towards the chest. Extend those legs. Now, number one most important thing during this core work is to never hold your breath. So always exhale, we got 10 seconds before we go to our first ISO crunch hold. ISO crunch hold for 30 and three, two, one. All right, shoulders up, hold that crunch position for 30 seconds. Now your option here, if you need to reduce the range of motion, take those shoulder blades a little slightly towards the ground, but get to what, 15 seconds to hold it here, breathe through it, Coming up is going to be that body weight double crunch for 30 seconds. We got less than 10 seconds. In three, two, one. 
double crunch for 30. Beautiful job, team. Now, no rest here, so I want you to stay strong. We have got this 15 seconds before our next ISO hold. 10, picking those shoulder blades woo, up off the ground. Holy cow. Three, two, one, ISO hold. Shoulders up. All right, guys, eye gazes towards the ceiling, never, ever letting that tension generate from the neck, but always from the core. Breathe through it if you need to. Hands behind the head can help you support that neck. Holy cow, we've got 10 seconds, and then we go into a toe reach. Fight for it, team. Toe reach in three, two, one. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Exhale my hands towards my toes. Now the straighter you keep those knees, the more challenging it becomes. So your option, 15 seconds, is to bend at the knees. We're going into that iso crunch hold in less than 10. I want you to press through here after that. We get a cobra stretch in three, two, one, crunch hold. All right, feel that burn, guys. Woo! You got it. Press through. Engage the core. Hand might be behind the head. Option here. If you place those hands on the ground, we got less than 10 seconds before we go into our first cobra stretch. Woo, guys, come on. You got this. Three, two, one, cobra. Holy cow. All right, stretch out that core. Guess what? Round one's done. We got one more round to go, and then you're done with this core work for the day. With this portion, it is. So in 15 seconds, we're going into our reverse crunch again for 30 seconds. Woo! Beautiful job, guys. All right, reverse crunch in three, two, one. Roll it over. Reverse crunch. Just saw our owner Scott walk in. Sorry about to Scott in the building. All right, guys. Woo! You feel that? I feel it in my core. 15 seconds. Using just the core, not the momentum from the legs. You got it? Three, two, one. Iso crunch, hold. Woo! Shoulder blades even up just a little bit up off the ground. That is success, whatever it looks like for you. Taking little sips of air as you work through this core. 15 seconds. You got it, guys. Taking the tension out of the neck by putting the tongue to the roof of the mouth. But we're going into that double crunch in three, two, one, double crunch. Oh, goodness gracious. This is terrible. But you guys have it. I'm not going to go down as far with my leg as an option. Tap the toes. 15 seconds with that bent knees. 10 seconds before our next hold. Woo! You guys have it. Come on. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hold. So just so you know, we got Coach Ryan in here making fun of us. He's terrible. Call him out. Holy cow, you guys have it. Come on, halfway, 15 seconds. Just a little bit up off the ground, whatever you can do here. Our next exercise is that toe reach. Get ready in three, two, one, toe reach. Never thought I would be so glad oh, to do a toe reach. Holy cow. You guys, we're almost done. We've got less than 90 seconds. After this toe reach, our last core exercise is just going to be that hold, and then we get to stretch in that cobra stretch. 10 seconds of this toe reach. Keep the work going. I so hold for the final time in three, two, 
One, shoulders up. All right, guys, it's the last minute of work. After this, we just get to stretch. So press through, tension out of the neck. 15 seconds to go. Now pressing through, sips of air, little sips of air here. Get ready for that cobra stretch in three, two, one. Oh my goodness, cobra stretch for 30 seconds. You can feel it all over the core. Feel it at the top, at the bottom, and in between. This is terribly good to get the stretch in now. We got about 15 seconds left of block number one. Squeezing those glutes to protect that lower back. You need to come down a little further and then press forward again. You're welcome to do that. All right, press back into that child's pose in three, two, one. Nice job, guys. Come on forward. That was block number one. Maybe grab some water if you need it. We're going to let our core rest a little bit. Well, actually, maybe. So <laughs> block number two is 12 minutes long. We have three different variations of a push-up, so you're still going to need that core. And in between, we'll have different upper body exercises. So we start with just a normal push-up. High rep count, guys, 15 reps for these push-ups to start. So make sure you take your options if you need them. So starting with that regular push-up, hands might be a little wider for you on your toes. We go down and up. Option here is to do that from the knees, full range of motion. Then you're going to roll it on up after 15 of those. And we're going into a hip hinge low row. So both of those weights in hand, pinching over at the waist. We're going back, reset forward. Watch that nice flat back. That hinge is going to engage those hamstrings just a little bit too. Option there is to lighten that weight. Then we go into a tricep push-up. So that's where we're going to keep our arms tighter than a normal push-up. Hands are going to come in just a little bit so we can isolate the back of those triceps, the back of those arms, down and up. Option, do that from the knees. Then we're going to roll on up into an upright row for 15. Grab in your medium weight selections once again. Shoulders back and down. We're drawing it up into a T and then right back down. Option here is going to be to lighten that weight. All right. 15 of those, then your favorite of this block, I'm sure. It's gonna be a hand-releasing push-up. So hands under the chest. We start in a push-up position. We go all the way down, lay your belly on the ground, and then press up. Now your goal is to squeeze the glutes and try to keep the hips in one fluid motion with the rest of the body. Option is to do that with your knees on the ground. Finally, bicep curls for 15. Grabbing that weight, shoulders back and down. We're gonna draw them up. Full extension of the arms. If you do not fully extend those arms, that cannot count as a full rep. So all the way down, all the way up, and try to avoid that swing. It might mean you need a lighter weight. All right, guys, we're going. Our goal is for 12, or excuse me, for three rounds. We'll see how far we get. Every round we do, the push-up exercises decrease by five reps. So round one, 15, 10, and then five. We'll see how far we get together, but I'm gonna count these out. We got 12 minutes. First push-up of the day, coming at you in three, two, one. Normal push-ups for 15, so we go one, two, three, squeeze the quads, four, and the core, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more, fifteen. Beautiful. Come on up. We're going into that hip hinge, low row for fifteen. Grab your weights, low row, in three, two, one. One, two, Three, try to keep with my tempo. Four, not super fast. Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more, fifteen, nice. All right, we got tricep push-ups coming your way for 15. In three, two, one. We got one, two, three, hands are closer, four together, five, six, seven, eight, nine, on the knees as an option, 10, five more, 11, 12, you might notice, 13, make you're stronger in another position, 14, one minute, 15, nice job, roll on up, Woo! nice work, upright row coming at you for 15, in 3, 2, 1, stand tall, T-shape for 1, 2, guess what, it's all arms and shoulders, 3, 4, a little bit of 4, side, Six, this is your time to catch your breath. Seven, eight, nine, breathe through it. Ten, five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more. <laughs> fifteen, nice. Set them down, hand releasing push ups for fifteen. Take your option as you need it on this one. We start at three, two, one. All the way down, hands up for one. Hands up, two. Hands up, three, four, five, six. Hands up, seven, halfway. Eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, core tight, thirteen, two more, fourteen, one more, fifteen. Nice job, guys. Roll it on up. Last one, bicep curls. Grab your weights, 15 total. Here we go in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, more than halfway, nine, Ten, five more, eleven, twelve, full extension, thirteen of those arms, fourteen, one more, and fifteen. Beautiful. That was round one. Now from here on out, ten reps for those push-ups. Come on down, normal push-up coming your way. In three, two, one, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, ten. Nice job. Woo. Shake out those arms. Hip hinge, low row coming your way. Fifteen. In three, two, one. One, two. Nice flat back. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One more. Fifteen. Nice. Okay. Tricep push ups coming your way. Take it to the knees if you need to. You know your body. Hands close together in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Woo! Nice 
nice job. All right, we got that upright row. Grab your weights. 15 total. In three, two, one. For one. Six minutes into the block, two, halfway. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, one more. And 15. Nice. All right, we got those hand releasing push ups for 10. Come on down in three, two, one. For one, two, three. Try to keep your whole body in that fluid motion. Four, five, halfway. Six, seven, three more, eight, two more, nine, ten. Woo! Nice job. Bicep curls for 15. Grab that weight in three, two, one. One, two, three. Notice. Four, that endurance stays. Might mean a lighter weight. Five for you. That's okay. Six, it's all about fluid motion. Seven, more than weight on endurance. Eight, nine, ten, five more team. Come on. Eleven, you control the weight. Twelve, thirteen. Two more, 14, one more guys. Woo, 15, beautiful. Set them down. All right, top of round three, five reps for these push-ups now. Push up in three, two, one. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Nice, it gets easier as we go through. Hip hinge. Low row in three, two, one. For 15, one, two, three, four, five, core tight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, nice. Set them down, shake them out. Tricep push-ups for five. Coming at you in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice, roll it up, upright row. Grab your weights in three, two, one, upright row for 15. One, two, we got a little over three, two and a half minutes. Four, five, six, breathe through it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Eleven, twelve. 13, two more, 14, one more, and 15. Nice, beautiful. Set them down, hand releasing push ups for five. In three, two, one. We got one, two, three, four, one more. Five. Nice job. Bicep curls for 15. Grab those weights. Right into it. Three, two, one. 75 seconds. One. Left on the block. Two. Three. Woo, guys. You got this. Four. Five. Less than a minute. Six. We 
squeeze the glutes. Seven, eight, nine, almost there. Ten, five more, y'all. Come on. Eleven. Woo! Twelve. Thirteen. Two more. Fourteen. One more. And fifteen. Nice. We got thirty seconds. Five regular push ups coming your way in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Ten seconds. Let's go to that high row in three, two, one. Can you get one to two reps in? Two, three, one more. Four, nice. That was block two. Have your arms to your feel like jello, I bet. Mine do. Grab your water. Guess what? Happy moment. No more weights, so you can move those out of your way. And no more push ups. Praise the Lord. Come on. Thank goodness. Now, we have a seven minute core block for block number three. So once again, similar to that extra, that round um, for block number one, we're gonna have three different core exercises, and then we're gonna have an ISO bolt, bolt hold in between each one. So we start with heel touch. So we have those knees bent and my shoulders on the ground, picking up those shoulders. I tap the toe side to side. I'm leading with my core not with my neck. Option here, reduce the range of motion. Next core exercise is sprinter sit up. Legs straight, arms at your chest. We come up, touch the opposite heel, touch the opposite heel. Option here is to reduce the range of motion. You might want to just do a body weight crunch. Then leg raise. Woo, yes. So laying flat on your back. My legs are going to start above my chest. And I'm going to lower them as far as I can before my back starts to arch. As soon as your lower back arches, that means you need to reduce the range of motion. Option, bend the knees. And then finally, that ISO hold in between each exercise is going to be 30 seconds of a boat hold. And it sounds like it looks. Feet are lifted, hands by your side. Option. Bring the feet towards the ground, or you can cover them above the ground, trying to draw that core towards the knees. All right, seven minutes, and we got 30 seconds per exercise. Two rounds is gonna be that goal, all right? We start with those heel touches per 30 seconds, team, in three, two, and one. All right, alternating heel touch side, to side. Now, because of so much core work, faster doesn't mean better. Actually, slowing it down is going to help isolate that core movement and not tire you out too terribly much. We got less than 10 before our first boat hold. Three, two, and one. Boat hold for 30. Now, I like to keep my knees close to one another, hands extended. If you have tight hip flexors, you're going to start to feel it here. So that means I want you to bring your feet towards the ground. We got 15 seconds before we go into our sprinter sit up. Breathe. You control your breath, it doesn't control you. Sprinter sit up in three, two, one. Let's go. Opposite hand. The opposite foot. Exhale as you draw the knee towards the chest here. Trying to keep those hands close to the chest so that you're not using them to swing you up. If you need further assistance, using a little bit of energy from those hands is acceptable. Five seconds before our second boat hold. Three, two, one, let's hold. All right. Now, the higher those feet, the more challenging it is for the core. 
Think about opening your chest up like you're opening it up towards the ceiling. 15 seconds. Next exercise is that leg raise in 10. Fight for it, y'all. Come on, don't give up. Three, two, one. Woo! Leg raise. All right. So it might not be super far range of motion, but remember, knees are bent at that option, but whatever you need to do, 15 seconds to keep that lower back from arching up off of the ground. 10. Woo! You got it, guys. Fight for it here. Woo! Three, two, one. Boat hold. Guess what? After this, we get a cobra stretch for 30. Hey, if you need to, hold on to those legs as an option. We got 15 seconds. Don't give up here. Reducing that range of motion if you need to. If you feel it in your lower back, holding on might be a good option for you. We have a cobra stretch in three, two, one, roll over. Woo! 30 seconds. All right, guys, one more round of that and then we are done with the core work for the day. Couple of deep breaths. If you need to, release that and push back up halfway. 15 seconds, you can do that too. Now, first exercise, round two. Crunch with heel touch. Roll it over, crunch with heel touch. In three, two, one. All right, side to side. Touching those heels or just getting as close as you can towards them. 15 seconds all the way. Remember, never ever hold your breath. All right, we have that boat hold. In three, two, one, let's hold. 30 seconds. You can do this, guys. Holding on if you need to, or reduce the range of motion. Coming up is a sprinter sit-up in about 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Don't give up. Do not give up, guys. Sprinter sit-up in three, two, one. Sprinter sit-up. Woo! All right, now is where we start to get a dig just a little deeper. We have less than three and a half minutes to go. And then we're done with the core. 15 seconds before our second to last boat hold. Less than 10. All right, y'all. Second to last boat hold in three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds. All right. Lower back pain means that you're going back too far. You might need to draw the chest towards the knees a little bit more or squeeze the belly button towards the core or towards the spine. Less than 10. And then we're going into those leg raises for the last round. In three, two, one. Leg raise. Woo! All right, bending at the knees if you need to. As soon as that arch of the back occurs, that is your range of motion. You might notice, hey, this is a lot shorter than I'm normally used to. That's because you are crushing your core. 10 seconds, and that is okay. Last boat hold. Coming your way, guys. In three, two, one, boat hold. Guess what? You never have to hear that name again today. In about 20 seconds. Come up, up. It's going to be a cobra stretch, and then we are done with this block. About 10 seconds. Come on. Fight for it. Do not give up here. You can make it to the end. Five, four, three, two, one. Cobra. Woo! Roll over. Nice work. That was terrible. Be 
you guys crushed it. Amazing, amazing job. About 15 seconds left. Squeeze the glutes here to protect that lower back. No more core, no more push-ups. The worst is over. Press back in two child's pose in three, two, one. Press it back and we can slowly roll it on up. I'm gonna catch some water. Okay guys, one more round and then we're done for the day. We cannot have a class without having a Sabata block, right? So coming up, four minutes of work, four rounds of exercise, or four rounds of these two exercises. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna have a jump rope for 20 seconds. Now, if you have a rope jump rope, you're welcome to use it. Option here is to just do a little bounce if that bothers your knees. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Then I say squat to alternating punch. This is where we're gonna get that fight on a little bit. Squatting low, we go alternating those arms. Try to get that core in behind it to move that arm, but try to stay relatively square forward. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. All right, guys, we have that jump rope for 20 seconds, four rounds. In three, two, one, let's go. All right, jump the rope. If you wanna pick up that height just a little bit, you're welcome to do so. And if you have a real jump rope, of course, halfway, you can use it. I find it takes me about 20 seconds to even get going on a jump rope. <laughs> rest in three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. Now coming up, ISO squat, alternating punch. In three, two, one, squat down. All right, so quick movement with those arms, but stay in that squat. The lower, the better. We got 10 seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. Nice. Round one's over. Can we pick up this jump rope a little bit faster this time? In three, two, one. All right, quick feet. Try to get that little motion in the wrists just to get that heart rate up a little bit. We got less than five. Come on, three, two, one, rest. Nice job. All right, coming at you, iso squat punch. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, quick with that punch. Try to avoid the shoulders shaking too terribly much. Less than 10. Stay low. And three, two, one. Nice job. 10 seconds. Round three, we're halfway. All right guys, jump rope in three, two, one. All right, stay light and quick. This round, I'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit. Look how fast I'm taking my jumps. If you wanna go side to side, you can. Halfway. Just getting that heart rate up. It's all about that heart rate here. Remember your option is to reduce that range of motion. Rest. Nice job, I got talking. All right, round three, I should squat punch. In three, two, one. Quick, with those hands, staying low. Sit back, knees behind the toes. Come on, halfway. Five, three, two, one, rest. All right guys, one more round and then we are done. Jump rope for 20 seconds. We got less than three, two, one, let's go. All right, this is that all out round. How quick? Can you get those feet? Come on, pick it up. 10 seconds. Five forward here. Three, two, and one. 10 seconds rest. Last 30 seconds of class, guys. Iso squat, alternating punch. Let's really make it count here. In three, two, one. All right, punch it out. Come on. Final 20. 
20. Can you pick it up in that speed? 10. All the way to the finish. Side four here, team. Come on. Five. Three, two, one. Rest. Woo! That was our final block of work, guys. Congratulations. We have our flexibility now, so stay tuned for that. Catch your breath if you need a little sip of water. Flexibility block. We're going to stay into that core, those core stretching exercises because I think we need them. So three minutes of work. Coming on down to your belly. Slowly make your way down. We're going to start with that cobra stretch. So lay flat down, squeeze the glutes, press upwards. Breathing through it here. If you need to take those hands forward just a little bit more, that's going to reduce the range of motion. We're almost there. Now we're going to push out of this into a child's pose. And three, two, one, knees come wide, toes stay together, push it back for that child's pose. This should feel so good on that core because you worked so hard. In 10 seconds, we're going to go into an angled child's pose. That means we're going to stay in this position but we're going to walk our hands to the left side first. So go ahead and walk your hands to the left. You should feel that stretch through the side of your core, through your obliques. All the way up to that armpit is where you should feel it. And remember in that child's pose, your knees are wide, your toes are together. Get ready to switch sides, walk those hands to the opposite side, whatever side you haven't done yet. Breathe. Beautiful job today, guys. Go ahead and slowly roll it on up, and when you are ready, you're going to make your way onto your bottom for a seated toe reach. So, those feet are together and in front of you. And you're going to inhale up. Exhale towards the toes. Now, trying to keep a flat back as we reach for those toes. If you touch them, great. If you can't, that's also great. Just reach for them so that you can get that stretch of the back of the legs. So stay tuned, guys, for May Mayhem. That is coming up later this month. So go ahead and find yourself, find your way to the Orange Theory shop online to register for May Mayhem, and you will get a Mayhem hat as well. So get your Orange Theory gear. It's going to be so much fun. So just get your minds ready. Go ahead and release for that because it's coming your way. When you're ready, take your feet nice and wide, and you're going to press yourself on up. Hands come in front in those Head, neck, and shoulders are the last thing that comes up. Couple of rolls of those shoulders. We are done. Congratulations, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.